Welcome to Sketching Scotland, a series of tutorials to help you draw our beautiful country. We are diving deep into Scottish folklore for this sketch and drawing one of our most cherished sculptures of recent times, The Kelpies by Andy Scott. If you're going to be doing lots of sketching, I would recommend you buy a few essentials, a hardback sketchbook and a range of pencils, pencil sharpener, a rubber or an eraser if you're from across the pond, a good seat and desk, kitchen table will probably do the trick, or you can draw on a tablet, as I'm doing on this demo. But all you need are the three Ps, paper, pencil, and a bit of patience. So there's no easy way to draw a horse, so I would suggest try and follow along. I'm going to draw the horizon line then. If you follow along to draw the outline of both of the Kelpies, Duke and Baron, as they are are based on two Clydesdale horses called Duke and Baron. I'm not sure which is which. But on the left, Kelpie. If you try and draw the basic outline for that, and we'll go on to the right one. I'm just drawing it really lightly for now. The shape is quite difficult, so feel free. The lighter the better. If you kind of have nice kind of light pencil strokes, it gives you a bit of room for error. Then I'm going to go in and draw the pathway, keep this quite curved, there's nice paths that go around the whole of the, the Kelpies, and then add a bit more detail into the horses. Get the eyes just going into the sort of facial features. Just getting the eyes and the nose, you can see we're kind of making a few mistakes, so going back, like I say, it's not an easy one. And then, can I just go in and add details into the mane? And these are mystical animals, mystical Celtic water horses. So if you don't get it totally perfectly, I think it adds to the mystery, right? And they were said to have the strength of 10 horses. So we just get more details on the right Kelpie, add in the jawline and the neckline and the mouth. So we've just got the kind of basic key shapes of, of each of the horses. And then we'll go back in and add, with a darker pencil, add more detail for both of the both of the horses. And then this is, gives you a chance to kind of tighten up what you've drawn for the first round. So we're going in there and adding more detail into the eyes and the, the nostrils. Again, adding the kind of neck muscles. And then we'll do the same with the the next one, the one on the right, Duke or Baron, which I knew which is which. So the Calpies themselves are built just on the eastern gateway to the Forth and Clyde Canal. And kind of a bit of a monument to the Scotland's horsepower heritage. Um, horses used to pull all the barges around the around the canals. They worked in the fields, so they used to didn't have tractors. It was all horses that did a lot of the labour work. So we're going to go into the detail of the actual horses and the kind of shiny metal plates. So there's 18,000 individual pieces of steel which are all joined together, which gives it that kind of sparkling quality. So to kind of achieve this, we're going to add in L's and T's all around, kind of following the contours of the muscles and the shapes that you've already done before and that's going to go all over the whole kind of thing it's covered in it and it, the great thing about having 18,000 pieces of metal it just feels like the kind of sparkle in the daylight and also at night time they're lit up from inside so it um, makes it feel magical you can actually get inside the sculpture as well tour guides will give you all the lowdown on all the information about the canals and the, the kelpies and how they were built Really fascinated to be inside them, but then to hear the whole story as well is is really really interesting. Uh, you can make a bit of a day of it as well. They're actually set in the a park called the Helix Park, so tons of other stuff you can do. Playgrounds for the kids, really nice walkways. You can cycle as well to the Falkirk Wheel. There's a nice flat canal path. Um, so yeah, really great for a nice day out or days out. So once you've got all the shapes. Just going to add detail into the grass um, around the sculptures, which you can walk right in between them as well. 
you get a real sense of how just how big they are when you're right next to them. And I managed to get uh, some really nice sunset pics. Park is open right into the evening. I think the I think the car park might shut, but you can park nearby. So then we're just gonna add in a lot of detail into the background, and you can kind of do as much or as little as you want. You can make this quite rough or smooth, or you can go into lots of lots of detail. For this one, we've kind of we're going into lots of detail. It feels like it warrants it because it's you know such a kind of precious and refined kind of piece. And then the colour as well is going to really bring it to life later on as well and add extra kind of shape or just defining some of the shape of the of the horses. Um, like I say, no easy way to draw a horse. But this might be the easiest way to draw a horse. We may have cracked it. Um, at this time of night as well, the, the sun, because the sunlight's hitting, it gives you a really nice kind of sense of of the shape as well. So it, it's a really nice kind of nice to have that extra light and shadow to add. And the time of day that we're that it was shot here in the picture that we're following, um, it's just right at sunset. So the actual uh, lights inside have come on. So you're getting best of both worlds with the light sunlight hitting and the lights from the inside. It gives it this really mystical property. And like I say, they are mythical beasts, one of many in Scotland. We have quite a few mystical beasts to, to follow, but for now, you've just managed to draw one of our best, the Kelpies. When you've completed this one, why not try sketching another location? We'd love to see your sketches, so please send them to us using the hashtag SketchingScotland. It's not quite the same as being here, only in Scotland can you appreciate the full beauty of these types of sites, but it should keep you busy until you can come and sketch in person. For now, happy drawing!